That one, we've got this great news courtesy of Sneaker News regarding an incredible, I feel like personally, lineup of shoes um, for the next batch of New Balances designed by Teddy Santis, who is also the founder of Ami Leon Dor. And I legitimately think this might be my favorite batch of colorways that he's designed for New Balance. Um, they legitimately are beautiful. A few of them are a little bit sneakery in like the crooky, crooked tongues kind of way especially this first um model here but the rest are just absolutely gorgeous like teddy santis hasn't missed i think in terms of his ability to put together really really fresh colorways of sneakers like he has a real talent for it because i feel like unlike others um a lot of it isn't like overly thematic like it's not like he's oh, i went to the grand canyon now my shoes are going to be burnt orange and red it's like it's not it's nothing as cliche as that but i also feel like it's not him going back into the archives and just digging into the catalogs and just you know redoing old flipping colors which is always going to work because the og colors are usually the best it's kind of his fresh um interpretation of an og formula of doing colorways which i have always loved my og formula of doing colorways is always like the classic you know 80 to 90s sort of um color palette where you would use usually a minimum of like two to four colors you wouldn't go any more than that nowadays people are putting python and leopard and all this sort of nonsense and materials and going crazy with the colors but i think sometimes going with two to three colors on the overall shoe including the fucking you know the color of the fucking midsole I think really that limitation actually allows for a little bit more innovation, a little bit more creativity, a little bit more thinking out the box. And I think in general results in a way more balanced shoe. And it's hard to describe it because this is kind of getting nerdy with sneakers, but I'm about like balancing a shoe. Like I hate shoes that are like top heavy in terms of the colors where they've got a lot of like, you know, darker tones or really kind of loud sort of colors at the front. Maybe they're made with the idea of like having jeans covering the back, but I kind of like, you know, I want to see a shoe. For me, I want a shoe to look good without something covering it. I want it just to look good by itself. So it has to look good with shorts at all times. So sometimes shoes can be a bit too top heavy, but when you have, when you kind of adopt that sort of two to four color, you know, palette, you know approach to designing shoes what you end up getting is a little bit more of an even shoe across the board and if you see some of these models here like you just get a nice even spread across all the entire shoe and nothing feels top heavy and they all look well balanced incredibly light and easy to wear like you can't go wrong with any of these flipping colorways here on the screen they all look incredibly incredibly beautiful like personally the purples at the top here are definitely ones that I would definitely go for first. And then one of these at the bottom here as well, maybe this kind of like citrusy lime type of colorway is definitely something that I would kind of jump on. But I think all of them, all of them look absolutely gorgeous. Um, so let's quickly read this news article, Coach of Sneaker News. It says, over the course of last few months, we've seen glimpses of the New Balance up and coming Made in USA collection. And in addition, with a new slate of 990 V6s and 990 V4s, Santa's season three offerings expands beyond the 990 series and delivering new colors of the Overlook classics like the 998 and 996. So I think this is the 998 and 996, right? I'm pretty sure this is one is 998 and 996. is probably that one. I'm pretty sure. So that's definitely the model that i need i'm not gonna lie about that one um when santos first took over the helmet new balance usa the million door founder focused heavily on the 990 v2s and 990 v3s this time around however later series entries namely the 990 v6s and the v4s are taking center stage dressing in bright um, spring appropriate colors enjoy a closer look at the season three made in usa collection ahead with a full release dates have yet to be discussed so they look fucking amazing but it doesn't end there because there's also fucking clothes it's not only that, there's also clothes included. This is courtesy of modern um, notoriety. They've got some additions here. So yeah, you've got the V4s. Look at, look at the clothes. There's also clothes involved. That's also pretty cool. That he's got the ability to kind of, you know, combine those amazing sneakers that he put together with a really cool little capsule collection of shoes that he's going to put together for a new balance also. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of wearing like matchy, matchy, you know, sneaker with clothes type of shit. Personally, I'd rather just wear my own shit. But, 
the stuff in here looks fucking great to be fair especially if you're looking to buy a million door sort of products on the budget this is sort of like the best way to kind of get it right this is sort of like your um de facto diffusion line if you wanted to do so so you know loads of nice little um, vest tops and cool sweatshirts and jackets and shit really really cool vibe on everything included but for me for me it's the flipping shoes and those 998s i'm pretty sure or 998s or 996s are definitely high up on my list in terms of shoes that i want to buy especially these purple numbers here these plum numbers oof i think right the plum purple numbers are absolutely gorgeous these 998s are fucking my ones these ones on the front i would do ungodly things to get a pair of those in my collection i'm not going to lie i would do absolutely ungodly things to get a pair of those in my collection I'm not going to bloody lie. 